everybody always asks me what I'm using. So everybody always asks, what am I using out here? What am I using? What am I using? Well, today I'm using an ugly stick, Tiger Light, with Shimano Trinks. Probably overkill on the reel, but hey, it's all I could find at the last second. I'm using uh, some, uh, I got braided line with a top shot, a P-line. Um, I run P-line everything, they hook us up, take care of us, they got good product. You know, I definitely recommend hitting the product up. Everybody's got line preference. And all I'm using is a jig, thanks to Brad, that he made, and that's about as big as it gets, you know, that you want to use out here. You can go nine inch slug or sledge, sledgehammer from big hammer, whatever. But when it comes down to it, these fish are gonna nail anything that comes in their face. So you guys always wanna know what I'm using? That's what I'm using today. A lot of the times that's what we're using out here. Light tackle, except for my reel. You can go light bass tackle out here for all you bass guys, okay? These pockets, these, 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 little, these little channels, that's what we're fishing. Next one. This one's a little bit bigger. Longer this water sits and the fish sit in the water, the hungrier they get. Like, how do you pull a fish out of that? That's crazy. A little goby over here. <laughs> Scared them. I don't venture away from the ledge too far. I want to be able to see the fish come out and grab it. So I try to stay right up over the ledge so I can see what's going on. See my lure get smashed. If the fish is there and he wants it, he's going to come out and grab it. You've seen that in my earlier videos. I'm just gonna walk this guy all the way around this ledge. Just gonna try to stay right above the lure. I'm just walking it, just walking it. Walking him all the way around to the next one. And drop him right in. Get him in that next pool. See what we can pick up. 